Welcome everyone, I'm Jordan Sharp. There is a crucial, a couple of crucial game fives on Wednesday evening, and one of them in the Western Conference is the Dallas Mavericks, the eight seed, heading into San Antonio for game number five of this series, with the series tied at two games apiece. And the Mavs uh, come in as a six point road underdog in this game with a total of 198 points. Now this is a little bit of an early start for a uh, game in San Antonio, 6 p.m. local time uh, for the central time action here at game number five. And really the big story in San Antonio heading back of this game is Tony Parker's ankle injury, uh, grade one ankle sprain is the diagnosis for Tony Parker, which was pretty limited in game number four. It could really have an effect on game number five depending on what his status is. Now, he has obviously had a few, a few days to rest now, heading back to San Antonio and it's not much of a flight so really don't have to worry about uh, swelling too much with that short flight from Dallas to San Antonio so his I really Tony Parker could uh, turn around his game four game four performance uh, if indeed he's a little bit healthier heading into uh, into tonight but either way Wednesday night I think the best play for this game is the total instead of the spread here six points with a Tony Parker injury looming not much of a value I think but however 198 points is the lowest total that we've seen so far with this series and even though it seems a little bit odd that the books might be baiting us uh, to bet the over. I think that it could still cash here uh, between these two teams. Total is, like I said, the lowest it's been, and it's now cashed in two of the last three games this series. We look, we look at game four as kind of an anomaly, I think, between these two teams, both not very known for their defense. At times, they can play pretty good defense, but at this, at this, uh, this stage of the uh, game here at game five, I think a 198 is just a little bit too low here at bet online between these two squads. The over is also now cashed in five of the last seven meetings so far between these two teams if you date back a little bit towards the regular season and with a total this low in San Antonio I think the Spurs offense will likely improve from their poor performance they showed in game number four in Dallas and like I said if Parker is able to play some more that could be a plus for this team but either way though uh, Greg Popovich will put the ball into either Mono Ginobili or Patty Mills's hands if Tony Parker is not being effective very quickly so you don't have to worry about Parker lagging down the Spurs offense the entire game I think they'll definitely turn things around both teams especially in San Antonio and over 198 seems to be a pretty good play here from the bet online odds so add that to your NBA picks here on Wednesday evening best of luck to you on this one make sure you check out my pick on the uh, Brooklyn Nets and the Toronto Raptors as well in their game five situation but until then I'm Jordan Sharp and this has been another edition of the Sharp Pick.